it just feels much more natural with your finger in that ring. Um, oh, son of a gun. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get a Band-Aid. Ow. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on you. What is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing. With a quick little unboxing for you <laughs> in this video. If you guys have been watching my videos lately, you know that I've really gotten into uh, fixed blade knives as EDCs um, and also in particular into small arm retention knives or ring knives, things like that. Just uh, really, really into them right now. Um, and uh, I have found this knife on Amazon and uh, I was kind of surprised because it, it seems super cool. And for the price, it, it was really, really inexpensive, but it was a, um, it's a copy basically. Um, Let's say it's inspired by maybe uh, the uh, Bastinelli Customs knife called the Dopamine. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to take a look at this. Um, super excited to check it out. So uh, we'll get it over here to the bench and take a look at it. If you like the video, make sure and smash that like button. If you're not, sub <laughs> if you're not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, brother, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so you know about our, all our latest content. Make sure you are following us over at Instagram at Average Gear Review. And uh, without further ado, oh yeah, and as always, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my little videos. It, it does mean the world to me. Thanks. If you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back. Good to see you again. I hope you and yours are doing well. Let's get into this. Let's get into this box. <laughs> All right, guys, we're over here at the uh, top down view at the bench and going to get into this. I don't know if it's. Let's see. I don't have any other knives over here, so. <laughs> I was about to do a review on this Remet Rhino and I'll just I'll just use it. OK, so. Yeah, not a lot of fanfare there, just kind of right to the knife. And like I said, if you haven't heard of this knife before, it's uh, a, it's by Bastinelli Creations, and it's called the Dopamine. Um, that knife runs anywhere from 300 to 350 is the pricing that I could find on it. Um, if you guys could find someone some, somewhere cheaper... Um, post that one down below, but that was the uh, cheapest price I could find on a Bastinelli, on an actual Bastinelli. Now, this one is a, a copy, clone, whatever you want to call it, of that knife. It is a very, very faithful recreation of it from what I have seen. I haven't actually touched one of the Bastinellis, but just the, um, this does seem to look just like it down to even like this specific jimping in certain places. So this, this knife is actually uh, made by GTK II is the name of the company. They're uh, an Amazon knife company. They make a, a, a ton of different knives. Actually, I think I have another knife that was by them, but they make a bunch of copies. Basically they're copies of uh, really expensive knives in a lot of cases. And this is one of them. Now this knife runs about $20 on Amazon. I'll have a link for it if you guys want to pick one up. Um, I'll have a link for it. Uh, either you put it on the screen or I'll have it in the description down below. Um, but like with all my videos, if you see anything in the video, there'll be a, uh, links in the description to get a hold of one if, if they're available anywhere. So let's take it out and take a look at it here. I know you guys are dying to see the knife. So Again, it's a very small, um, I would say it falls into that sidearm retention knife category, but it fits, it fits into your hand just perfectly. I like the way that that feels. It is a fairly thick blade stock, as you can see, a fairly thick blade stock there. But again, it's a very, very small, very small blade on there. Um, now it is saying the blade is a 2.4 inch, but I'm, it's, 
maybe 2.4 inches of exposed blade there. That's, um, looks like right at two inches to me. It's got the two inch cutting surface anyway. Um, it's supposed to have four, about a four inch handle. It looks to me like these, um, are a little more handle than they are knife. Um, I don't think that's 2.4 inches. I could be off, but let's see. I'm going to call that two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches on this one. Um, I forgot to look at what the blade thickness is, but it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch. Yeah, right. A little, little less than an eighth of an inch thick on this end. I love how it has this jimping here. And, and when you hold it, you can really feel it. Your thumb slips right into that. And if you want to get a little bit more forward grip, it does have that forward jimping. Um, if you guys have seen my ring knife that I've been working on, this is something that I'm very interested in is this different jimping in certain areas and the way that it affects how the knife feels in your hand. It gives you like these little control points to sort of, it just feels, and so you can even hold it without putting your finger through the ring. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze there, but you can. It just feels much more natural with your finger in that ring. Um, oh, son of a gun. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get a Band-Aid. Ow. Um. Oh. So in case anybody was wondering, yeah, it is very sharp right out of the box. Uh, very, very, very pokey, I'll say. Um, I don't know exactly how I did that, but I, I have to watch the playback. I just literally jammed it into my thumb. I'm going to keep my thumb away from it now because this thing is dangerous. Oh, my goodness. It's like a needle. That hurts so bad. I, I hope none of you ever get poked by this thing because, dear Lord, that hurt. Woo. So anyway. Yeah, it's a super pokey little knife. Um, I'll do some cut tests on it here in a second, and um, we'll see how well it cuts. But as far as the ergonomics go, it is just, man, it's just locked in there. Um, I don't, I, I kind of like the curved shape to it, the way it, it sort of conforms to the back of your hand. Um, you know, like with the SOCP dagger, you can lay it across your palm, and then you close your hand. That's how you're supposed to hold it. Um, and so this one, this one works like that as well. It could use maybe a little bit of hollowing out, you know, some um, little spots for your fingers, but that's something you could always do on your own, you know, and I may do that to this one. Um, just add a couple of my own little touches to it, but I like where they have the jimping on it. Um, I'm a bit, I'm a little more fan of, of a little more structure to the ring. And now that I've gotten to playing with ring knives a lot, I like the way that the SOCP has a little, flat area on it. Um, it makes it easier to sort of know where the knife is just in your hand. And it also, um, when you're, when you're flipping it or whatever, it, it makes it easier to sort of manipulate the knife when you have these. And this does sort of have like stoppers here and here. So it st will still allow you to do that. I'll have to try to flip it a little. I can't, I can't really do it right here because there's just no room, but, uh, you know, might try that a little bit just see how it see how it goes but uh yeah in the forward grip or reverse grip it it just it just melts right into your hand that's one of the things that i really do like about um, most of the retention knives um it's just the way they mold so well into your hand and it almost disappears so that all you have is just that blade and uh i like that I wish it had a little bit longer blade on it, but, um, you know, for what it's for, it's definitely pokey. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, you can poke somebody up with it for sure. Uh, it's just not a lot of, not a lot of blade length there, you know, for cutting, but, um, it should comply with any sort of laws. I think, um, I don't know. The only problem may be with the uh, ring on it. That might cause an issue. I'm not really sure. You'd have to check, you know, once again, with any knives, make sure and check your local statutes and laws and, and know what you can and cannot carry because, uh, you know, I don't want to get anybody arrested by recommending something or, or saying, hey, get you one of these because they're cool. Um, but yeah, if it lands you in jail, it's definitely not worth it. And there's other options for you out there. But 
I think this one would be California compliant because uh, you can't have over a three inch blade, I think. I'm not sure if that applies to fixed blades as well, but I think I believe it does. So this would be California compliant, I believe. And like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a legal expert, but uh, I think the blade length anyway should should make it pretty legal to carry anyway. Um, I did want to just give you a couple of comparisons as far as this versus the um, the original knife. So I thought it was interesting that uh, this one versus the original, it, it's everything is like 0.1 of an inch difference. So the the original Bastinelli, it, it, they're listing their weight at 4.16 ounces. Um, and I don't know if that's with the sheath or without. I believe that's probably they're, they're giving that weight with the sheath. This is just what I was able to pull from um, researching on the Bastinelli. Uh, it, it, the original steel, it comes with this M390 bowler steel. So, you know, obviously, um, it's got very nice steel. It does come with G10 handles, which is the same. These both come with G10 handles. Now this version comes with D2 steel instead of the M390, but for $20, you're not going to get an M390 blade. Um, I don't know of anywhere. So, uh, it, now the Bastinelli lists their overall length at 6.5 inches. This one lists its overall length at 6.4 inches so like i said everything is just a little bit less than what the original is supposed to be so i don't know if they do that to keep it from being just an exact copy uh, i'm not really sure on that but um but the bastinelli's got a 2.5 inch blade this one's saying 2.4 uh it, bastinelli is 6.5 inches overall this one's saying 6.4 inches the bastinelli comes in at three hundred dollars this one comes in at 20 so yeah and we could point out here that you know that's a, that's a that's a problem for a lot of people in the knife industry is is people make these knives and and they put a lot of money and and effort into making them and then another company will come along and use slightly cheaper materials in the same design and and they could sell them at a much lower price point so um you know, I think it's a super cool little knife. Uh, I, I dig that it's G10 handles, a D2 steel, and it does have some kind of coating on it. I'm not really sure. It doesn't list if it's like, I'm assuming it would be like a PVD coating maybe, or just some bluing to the steel maybe. Almost looks like bluing, doesn't it? But yeah, I'll let you guys get a close-up look at it there. It, it's a really wicked looking little little knife. I mean, very purpose built, you know, um, the dopamine was, it was designed to do one thing and one thing well. And, uh, you can tell, like I said, just the purposeful design of the whole thing, but yeah, nice looking little knife. I, I dig it. You know, I'm, I've been into these kind of knives for a little bit now. So, um, you know, I'm not surprised that I like it. I probably wouldn't have ordered it if I didn't think I would. But uh, yeah, I like it. And I love that it comes with a Kydex sheath um, and it comes with one of these little basic clips on it. It's not bad. You can probably clip that to a belt and be just fine. Um, the retention is to the sheath is is actually pretty decent. It doesn't seem like it would, uh, you know, it's not going to shake or fall out of there on you. So, yeah. But uh, I love how these little inexpensive knives will come with a, a great little Kydex sheath on them. And it's almost like. You know, the sheath is worth 20 bucks. But um, let's do a couple of size comparisons. Just kind of see how it stacks up to some other uh, sidearm retention knives. So I think one of the closest ones to it that I've looked at recently anyway would be the CRKT SDN. Um, just as far as the overall size of the knife, they are very... Let's get these sheaths out of the way here. They are very similar just in their overall size. Um, this one's a little bit longer, a little bit... Um, bigger but then this one does have quite a bit longer blade on it as well so um, you can see how it stacks up to the CRKT SDN um, here's a CR uh, copy a copy of the Benchmade SOCP dagger but it is exactly the same size so you can see it's a little smaller than the SOCP dagger um, get about the same blade length maybe a little bit more blade length on this one although this one does have uh, serrations here so I compare apples to apples I guess on the blade length there 
but the, it's real close to the same blade length as the SOCP, which is cool, but the SOCP is quite a bit larger as well. Um, let's see. wanted to just see how it compares to uh, my White Horse concept knife that I've been working on. You can see it is just almost the same size as the SOCP. Um, this is a little bit longer version that I'm working on right now. Uh, has a little bit more handle length to it. Um, and I like that. It just fits my hand a little better. And um, it, it just falls right in line right now with the size of the SOCP dagger. So, um, but again, that's a little bit, you know, that one's a little bit larger. Uh, the SOCP dagger is a little bit larger. Um, and of course, yeah, I know this one's going to be way bigger, but this is the... Um, a copy of the tour anaconda and that one you know obviously it's a, a lot bigger but this is more of like your you know bigger end of your uh, ring knife sidearm retention type knives but i think this is a really super cool knife too i love that one and it comes with a great sheath for and it was and again super cheap um see how that i got one folder here i wanted to see how the uh kershaw outlaw outlier Almost the same overall length. Um, the Outlier's got that wicked hawkbill blade, so it's a little bit longer blade. And I like how they do the ring on this one. See, it has the jimping on the end to help with your orientation and your retention when you're uh, if you're if you're flipping it with the ring. So, um, yeah, I, I like that on it. And uh, obviously, you know, you can see on the uh, White Horse. I did sort of a crown on the end of it so it comes to like a striking point. But this also is really easy to use these to manipulate with your fingers um, to spin it and also to know just exactly um, where the blade is in your hand. So I like that, that design style. Um, but yeah, let me give you my final thoughts on it. So my final thoughts on it, I, I like it personally. Um, I dig it. It's it's right up my alley as far as what uh, what I've been looking at lately as far as just a uh, very compact, something you could use for everyday carry, um, you know, that can cut stuff, but also, uh, you know, it also can be used for self-defense um, as a sidearm retention knife. And um, yeah, I just, I really have fallen in love with the ring knives because I like flipping them. And my problem is I don't have uh, trainers of any of the ones that I have right now. So yeah, I, I've, I've poked myself with these things so many times. Um, again, this one, you know, just, uh, give me a good poke on the thumb there. So it is super sharp out of the box. So just be aware of that. Um, this thing is very sharp and pokey. I don't think that I did, you know what guys, I almost forgot to do any kind of cutting test for you and that just wouldn't be right. Um, let's see how to do with a, uh, just a post-it note. Ooh. Yeah, and it's not just pokey; it is very slashy as well. Oh. Cut your fingers off there, James! All right, your average four-figured gear reviewer here. Anyway, yeah, nice and sharp. Uh, it just ate right through that paper like it was nothing. Um, I don't have. Don't think I have any cardboard over here. Don't. I would do a cardboard cut for you, but I don't have any handy. I'm sorry. Um, you know, this is not really a knife. I don't think that you would be buying for cutting through cardboard, but it would work great for um, if you just want a little, you know, box opener knife. Um, yeah, you know, you're not going to drop it for sure. That's, that's one. Um, but that's an upside to it for sure. But yeah, super interesting little knife. I like it. Um, I'm sure that the uh, Bastinelli, that the original is very, very nice. I would love to get my hands on one. But uh, again, you know, you're talking about $300 versus $20. Um, I, I would buy five of these and just, uh, you know, if I break one, just pull out another one personally. Um, I, you know, I, I don't own any $350 knives. I own a couple that are that are 200 plus, but I don't own anything that's near 300 bucks yet. Um, you know, that may change in the future, but for now that's just a little higher, a little higher tier of knife than, uh, I'm, I'm 
you know, I'm looking at for myself personally, um, you know, especially for something small like this that, you know, may or may not be something that would be an everyday carry for most people. You know, um, this may not even be a type of knife that you're interested in at all, you know. But um, if you are interested in a nice little side armor tension knife, this one's very, very good. I like it. And it actually, um, a lot of them takes a little bit of learning to flip, but this one's pretty easy out of the box to just kind of get a little feel for, manipulate it around. Um, yeah, a lot of fun to play with. I would recommend, you know, if you're going to get into ring knives, get you a trainer so that you're not constantly uh, in danger of dropping it on your foot, which has happened to me a couple of times. I dropped one and stuck it in my leg. Um, I dropped one on the top of my foot. That one very sharp, luckily. Uh, so, you know, um, could have been a lot worse than it was, but, uh, yeah, I, I really, really dig the knife. You know, if you're looking for a sidearm retention knife and you got 20 bucks to spare, uh, links down in the description, if you want to pick one up, uh, they're very sharp out of the box. Uh, I'm going to take their word for it that it is actually D2 steel. I don't have the means to verify that. If anybody knows about this particular model, uh, post it down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Um, love to hear from you on it. If anybody has one of the Bastinelli dopamines, let me know what you think about those because, you know, I'm sure it's just a much nicer, upgraded, much tougher version of this knife. But um, yeah, super cool. I'm really digging it. Um, anyway, guys, if you like the video, leave me a like down below. Hit that like button. Go ahead and just smash it right now. If you're not subscribed, like I said, I don't know what you're waiting on. Um, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss future videos. Also, if you're an OG, and I'm assuming you are, if you're still here, we do have channel memberships live. And I don't know if you've considered supporting the channel. You can do it for as low as 99 cents a month. Um, trying to get some new lighting right now. My ring light keeps going out on me every time I try to record something. So it, it's a little bit annoying, but I just try to work around it. But, um, you know, anything you guys want to help out with, uh, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, go over to coffee.com. Um, I have a link for it down below in the description. You can buy me a cup of coffee over there. Any way that you want to help support it is is really appreciated. And I can promise you every bit of it is going to go back into the channel, back into uh, getting knives and gear in to review for you guys, um, into getting equipment so that I can maybe uh, better present the material to you. So if you are interested, it offers the offers on the table. Join up for as low as 99 cents a month and become one of the gearheads. Um, anyway, guys, like I always say, always be caring and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you. That's right. Average gear reviewer. I'll stab myself. I'm out of here. Average gear review, but the best gear is the gear you have on you.